This video will demonstrate how to use the hypergeometric distribution formula in Excel. Recall the example problem from class uh, where we have three light bulbs selected from a box of 10. Of the 10 bulbs in the box, there were four known to be defective. So if we look at the different variables, we have big N, which is our population size of 10 bulbs, big X, which is the number of successes, in this case, four defective bulbs known in the box, and little n of three bulbs selected is our sample size. So we go to the left, we see the formulas here for hypergeometric distribution and the variables that are required to plug in. We still need a little x, which is uh, the variable of interest that we're trying to determine, our little n, the sample size, our big x, which is the uh, population number of successes, in this case, four defective bulbs, and our big N is still our population size. The last piece, true or false, will determine whether or not we use cumulative data. False refers to non-cumulative, meaning we can use it to find the exact number or exact X. True means we do use the cumulative data, just like the appendix in our textbook. So here you'll use it to find X or fewer. And then if you are working uh, with X or greater, we'll take one minus the previous formula using true. So let's actually see how it's done. In this scenario, what is the probability that exactly two of the three selected bulbs are defective? So here we see our variables, little x equals two, exactly. Little n is three selected bulbs in our sample. Big x is the four defective in the box, and big n is the 10 bulbs total. Let's go ahead and plug in, you do equals, Hype geo, and you can see it pre-populates, so go ahead and select that. For our little x is the exactly two, comma, our sample size, or our little n is three, comma, our population number of defective bulbs, or our successes, is four defective, comma, and then for our big n, we know there are 10 bulbs in the box. Go ahead and do another comma and type in false because we want to find the exact uh, number of two bulbs being defective, and that means we're not making it cumulative. Go ahead and hit enter, and we see that the probability of selecting exactly two bulbs out of the three being defective is 0.3. Let's go ahead and do the next scenario. Here, what is the probability that two or fewer of the selected bulbs are defective? So here we, you can see that we now write x is less than or equal to two, our sample size is still three, our big X is still four defective in the box, and our big N is still our population size of 10 bulbs. In italics below, I've also rewritten how two or fewer might be described in a word problem. It also means the same as writing fewer than three bulbs, less than three bulbs, or at most two bulbs. So use your critical thinking to decipher the word problem so that you set up the probability um, or your x is less than or equal to something uh, appropriately. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. So here equals hype geo, and again it pre-populates. Uh, here we want two or fewer, so we'll type in two. Our sample size, our little n is three. Our big x is four defective bulbs, and our big n is ten. Go ahead and hit comma in between each of those, and then type in true since we are doing cumulative because we want to know two or fewer bulbs. Hit return and that gives you a probability of 0.9667. Let's do our last scenario where uh, we want to know what is the probability that two or more of the three selected bulbs are defective. So here we see x, little x, is greater or equal to two. Our little n is still sample size three big X is the four defective, and big N is the 10 bulbs in the box. Again, in italics, I've rewritten two or more can also be described as more than one bulb, or at least two bulbs. And recall that when we're working with uh, greater than, oops, in the way, uh, for P, the probability that X is greater or equal to two, we use one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to one. So what we're doing is we're subtracting 
the cumulative probabilities that come before the number we're actually interested in. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Equal sign 1 minus hype geo, and again, it pre-populates for you. Here we'll type in 1. Our sample size is 3. Our big X is 4. And our big N is 10. And we'll type in true so that we know we're using cumulative values. This, these steps are the same as you would do if you were reading it in the appendix as well. So hit, an, hit uh, return. And now that's the probability that two or more of the three selected bulbs will be defective. And that's how you use the hypergeometric distribution. Let me know if you have any questions.